Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and from unboxings.com and here we are looking at the new HTC 7 Pro, the latest Windows Phone uh, 7 phone from HTC. Uh, there aren't too many Windows Phone 7 phones on the market at the moment. So this is the latest, which we're going to just take a quick look at. So we start with the unboxing video. So inside the box, have the handset on the top, which we're going to come back to in a second. We're going to just take a look at the other bits and pieces that we've got in here. So first of all, we've got uh, how to get started, which covers all the basics um, from Windows Phone 7. Uh, nicely printed in colour, just to get you underway. How to contact HTC, the quick guide to your new phone, which again is included with uh, colour photos to actually get you started. There's a warranty statement, software license terms, and uh, little license and regulatory safety notices. Inside the bottom, we have a typical HTC charger, which we're just going to have a look at. So that's the USB style charger, so you've got a USB connector on the top, which then goes along with this three pin UK power socket. They just connect together like so. And to finalize the charger, we have a USB, standard USB to micro USB cable. Obviously you can use that for sync, and also with this you can use it for charging. That's sort of a fairly standard arrangement. Last four in the box, we have a wired headset, hands-free use. So a uh, small packet we have a uh, clip, clip for clipping it onto clothing and some foam covers over the for the for the headphones. And then a standard HTC thing, these uh, many of the HTC products have this uh, headset. So it's a four pole, three and a half mil jack. Um, reasonably decent headphones uh, from a, from a headset. Um, most people are going to want to use their own, I'm sure. But then there is this inline microphone uh, with push buttons for volume control and also for answering and hanging up the call. Uh, so it's a fairly straightforward thing. But uh, if you're going to use uh, you know a lot of music on your handset, I'm sure you're going to want to use your own headphones. So let's take a look at the handset then, and we'll just uh, peel off the protective plastic just here and uh, so first of all on the front we have a 3.6 inch display 480 by 800 pixels capacitive touch screen which does support multi-touch below that we have three keys back windows and search button and on either end there is a small grill that you can see there which uh, suggests that well I think that's actually a loudspeaker on the top we have a three and a half mil headphone socket as you can see there so you can use the obviously the wired headset that's supplied or your own standard headphones there's a little power switch there obviously for toggling the power on and off uh, on the right left hand side we have an up and down volume control slightly recessed there on the back because the back is slightly uh, tapered there and then we have the micro USB connector for obviously sync and charge uh, on the bottom a small hole which is actually a microphone and over on the right hand side, a dedicated camera button, which is the only thing on that side of the handset. On the back, there's a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, which includes uh, an LED flash and what uh, appears to be next to that the loudspeaker, which uh, was kind of an interesting sort of greeny yellow tint to it. The back cover there, as you can see, is actually made of metal, so it's a nice secure back cover and it is quite attractive looking. It's a weighty handset as well. We'll come back to that in a second. Obviously, most people are going to want to see the keypad. Um, and it's a really nice mechanism, um, how that works there. It does also tilt, so it obviously slides open, and uh, it flicks up of its own accord, which is really cool. Uh, this bar here, as you can see, if you look at that as the mechanism opens, flicks up. So actually, it also covers the workings inside. It just makes it that bit neater on the back as well. Uh, when it's in the open position, so it does look does look quite neat and tidy. Five rows of keys, uh, they're large as well, and uh, having the five rows means that you do get number keys on their own row rather than using a, like a shift or a hold down button for uh, using the number keys. And they are a really decent size. 
couple of LEDs on the side there for shift and function so that you know that they've been uh, operated and there is a small uh, row of, well, a couple of small keys here which are like cursor keys uh, again which are quite neat and uh, it's a decent looking keypad as well it really does look the part this sort of uh, grill arrangement around the outside also just adds a little bit of interest visual interest um, and neatness and it's a decent looking phone very impressed with it uh, in terms of visual appearance so the keyboard mechanism to slide shut we just tilt it back and close it the mechanism feels uh, fairly secure although um, it does pop you know have uh, the tendency to want to sort of pop open at the front there um, although it's fairly secure I don't think there'll be too much of a problem with it getting the back cover off well we actually it's easier if we slide the keyboard open to get the back cover off because it does just open this gap up here so we can remove the back cover and let's do that right now and inside we can see the battery has been secured with plastic so that it covers the contacts so that it doesn't uh, connect uh, and do anything while it's in transit and the battery is a 1500 milliamp hour battery so we'd expect a reasonable battery life uh, underneath here we have space for the sim card and like almost all the other windows phone 7 phones there's no memory card slot so you kind of stuck with uh, the shipped shipped amount of memory um, rather than being able to expand it but uh, that's sort of uh, what we're stuck with back cover should pop back on fairly easily it might be easier to close it to get the back cover back on like so and it just clicks in place as I say with a metal back cover it just feels quite secure um, as I say 3.6 inch display on the front uh, 480 by 800 pixels and while I rattle down with the rest of the specification, let's just see if we can power up. 1 GHz processor, 576 MB of RAM, 500, 512 megabytes of ROM. There's also 8 GB of built-in storage, um, which should be ample really, um, unless you're really going to put a lot of media on there. But 8 GB isn't bad at all. Uh, WVGA display, pinch to zoom functionality because it is multi-touch. As you expect, it is quad band for GSM and dual band for HSDPA. Uh, no 4G support, Bluetooth 2 with A2DP support, so uh, it's Bluetooth 2.1, built-in GPS, uh, autofocus with flash on the back on the 5 megapixel autofocus camera uh, with built-in uh, you know, scene selection and so on, uh, and also geotagging, uh, G-sensor, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, um, all the stuff that you really come to expect. In terms of the dimensions, it's 117 millimeters from top to bottom, uh, just over, just under 60 millimeters wide, and just over 15 millimeters thick. Uh, it weighs 185 grams, which feels a little bit weighty, um, but I suppose more robust than weighty. Uh, I, and also, um, I suspect that the comparison is going to be made between this HTC 7 Pro and maybe the HTC Touch Pro. Uh, not just in name, but uh, similarity within sort of the design of the flip mechanism. Um, a slight similarity in keyboard, although not overly obvious. Um, but you can see the size comparison for that. So those people with uh, perhaps the uh, Touch Pro that haven't upgraded uh, the devices to an Android or anything else just at the moment may wish to take a step up to the HTC 7 Pro, uh, as you can see there. So uh, let's just take a quick look. We'll go to getting get started. Uh, we'll set it, set it up in English and uh, we don't have a sim card installed uh, we'll accept the terms of use what else do we what else are we going to do uh, we're going to use the recommended settings uh, we use everything as standard just to get going it's not now for windows live so we'll wait while well, that just uh, installs a couple of applications which says it will take a moment or two And there we go, that's all set up. We're going to just go to next, all done. And there we go, we have the very familiar arrangement to the tiles, which uh, all, the H, uh, all the Windows Phone 7 phones have. Uh, comes with the HTC to Hub here, uh, stock quotes, Xbox Live, Internet Explorer. Here's your calendar, pictures, music and video, which obviously the Zoom stuff, connection setup, marketplace. And then if we click over here, we have a full list of more stuff. Wi-Fi Networks available as it's saying at the top there, which I just missed. So we're going to the connection setup. 
Let's fire that up. Yes, there's no SIM card, correct. It's not going to allow me to do that. Okay, so let's go into here, go into settings. Let's see if we can do that way. Wi-Fi turned on. And let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. Nice QWERTY keyboard on screen, but obviously we have a proper QWERTY keyboard. And there we go, we're connected. The keyboard does feel very nice, I have to say. I've only obviously tapped a few things in on it, but it just does feel, really does feel the part. Um, so let's go to Internet Explorer. And rather than the HTC website, sorry HTC, we're going to go to Okay, tracing.co.uk, you're just coming up with there. Which I think I've missed. Let's try that again. Second time lucky, so let's wait for that just to come up on screen. Really nice looking display, have to say. Really clear, nice glossy finish. I mean, I think people will either love or hate glossy displays on phones and uh, laptops and everything else, but I really like glossy displays, and this one seems to look really nice, so this works really well. So obviously we have the full page layout there. Using two fingers, we can zoom in and out and uh, yeah that works well absolutely as you'd expect it to do so so that's really cool we come back out of here and we can have a look at some of the other features on here we've got music and video so we've got any music that's actually installed no nothing comes as standard unfortunately so often these handsets come with sample music but sadly this one doesn't any pictures so there's a couple of photos just to you know serve as a sample so you get the arrangement there when you to rotate the handset display rotates accordingly I should do there we go and you can look through your images pretty straightforward get back home and what else do we have in here you have a settings have a quick look in the settings menu so we have ringtones, themes, you can change the theme, turn flight mode on off, Bluetooth, email accounts, location, keyboard, uh, a few other bits and pieces about the phone and feedback. Photo enhance of people, that uh, covers things like Twitter and Facebook, and then marketplace for uh, installing more and purchasing more applications. You have maps, which are Bing maps, uh, asking me for the location. So let's just see if that picks up a GPS signal. may not do yeah it appears to have that's quite cool picked up a GPS signal and it's working there so and it's a nice um, almost like a fog of war type of uh, or a thing when you actually scroll around the speed with which the maps load as you scroll around the detail sort of fades in which is quite cool nice little feature Internet Explorer we've already seen, we've got the Xbox games, currency converter, camera, calendar, calculator and some other bits and pieces there, um, it's not immediately obvious, I can't see a uh, YouTube application, that must be under, under here, no but we can come back to that another time, so that's just really a quick demo of the HTC 7 Pro. We'll have a full review for you over the next couple of weeks. If you're already convinced, then head over to Clove Technology. They have the HTC 7 Pro in stock. That's clove.co.uk. In the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmatt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. Uh, we'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews and a longer demo of the features of the HTC 7 Pro over the next couple of weeks. But for now, thanks for watching.